We are so very happy to have John Rich here. He is a multi-platinum singer-songwriter. He's the host of Fox Nation's The Pursuit. He's one half of the super duo Big and Rich, and he's a really good friend of The Huckabee Show. First time I heard this new single of his, it's called Earth to God. I turned to my wife and I said, Janet, wow. And she said, songs like this come into existence once in a generation. It is that powerful a song. And I think people, when they hear it, they are moved and their reaction is exactly the same. Earth to God debuted a few weeks ago in Washington, D.C. at Prayer March 2020. It aired here on TBN. And immediately the song hit number one globally on iTunes. Welcome back to the show. A dear friend and a great, great guy, John Rich. Thank you, John. Thank you. Was this song one of those that just came to you in a moment of inspiration? Was it just almost overwhelming to you? I mean, because it's so powerful. I've written a lot of songs in my life, over 2,000, hmm. somewhere in that range. And uh, I've never had one come to me like this. I was not in the mood to write a song. I was not um, setting out to write a song or thinking, you know, like that. I was just watching the TV and looking at that chaos and looking out my own window and, mm. and seeing that things are out of our control. And by our control, I mean mankind's control. Yeah. And this thought came into my mind. I wonder when the last time the whole world had the same problem at the same time, maybe COVID-19, mm. right? The whole yeah. world's got that problem. Yeah. So it's probably Noah's flood was the last time. <laughs> probably was. Yeah, and I thought that's an astounding thing to think about. Yeah. And so I went a little deeper with that thought and I went, you know, we're so divided right now in our country and around the world. What do we have in common anymore? Well, I guess what we have in common is that threat hmm. is what we have in common. And it's time we reach back out to God. Earth should send an SOS to God. I had this picture of a, like an old World War II guy at a CB radio hitting it and going, Earth to God, come in, God. Earth to God, come in, God. And what does, what does Earth want to hear God say back? Hmm. This is God, come back, earth. Hmm. Wow. That's See, what we want to hear. I think the profundity of the song is what makes it so very powerful. And the first time I heard it, I had that reaction of that this was not a song about politics. It wasn't a song even about music. It wasn't a song about divisions or race or uh, economies. It wasn't about country versus country. It was the world collectively mm -hmm. falling on its knees, recognizing we're in trouble. And we don't have but one solution. Well, man cannot fix mankind's problems. Mm. That's a fact. Yeah. And I'll tell you this, Donald Trump can't fix them, and Joe Biden can't fix them, and you can't, I can't fix them. Man cannot fix mankind's problems. Only God can do something as big as that. And uh, people have asked me, well, do you think God knows what's going on on this earth right now? Yeah. I said, well, it says in the scripture that he knows how many hairs are on your head, and he, he knows when a sparrow dies and hits the ground. He knows the most minuscule details of everything going on on our planet. So of course he knows what's going on. We just haven't talked to him in a while. And that's what this song is all about. One of the things I love about what you're doing with the song, 10% of all the money that you receive from the song is going to Samaritan's Purse, one of our favorites here at the show. Yep. What Franklin Graham and the people at Samaritan's Purse do for hurting people is amazing. So it's, uh, it's an opportunity to help Samaritan's Purse. But I I'm sure you're even amazed at the reaction the song is receiving around the world. I'm encouraged by it. Um, you know, I didn't write this song to be a hit song or to win an award or anything like that. I honestly felt like I was a conduit, uh, mm. like I didn't even write it when, it when I, 30 minutes it took to write this song. And I looked down at it and I went, what just happened? Huh. I honestly felt like he just put it on me and I was the conduit and I hit the page with the pencil and there it was. And, I feel more like a, a guy delivering a message more than an artist singing a song at this point. Well, brother, you are delivering a message with this song, and I want our audience to hear this powerful song. So as John gets ready to sing Earth to God, Keith is gonna tell you how you can connect with John Rich and this phenomenal piece of music. You can get John Rich's Earth to God at iTunes and everywhere music is sold. For more information about John's music, his projects, and to connect with him on social media, please go to johnrich.com. Also, John will be co-hosting a Fox Nation post-debate show this Thursday. Check it out on Fox Nation and all their social media platforms.